Hi guys, it's Jen here. Welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to do as as acrylic, zebra and foal. So I haven't done an acrylic painting for a very long time, so I thought it'd be fun to, to do this for you guys today. So I'm just drawing in the outline of these this zebra and her little foal. Um, foal's having a drink off mum. So I thought this was a very cute picture and I found it on Unsplash just in the... Um, zebra photographs uh, they're a free photograph site um or royalty free rather so i'm just drawing in with my mechanical pencil just all her stripes and then i'll draw in all the bub stripes so just do those in any old random order the only thing i really took note of was that the stripes went right down the back legs of that zebra and on the fold they also go right down the, the front legs so now I'm popping in just a pure white paint oh, there's a little bit of gray in it a little bit of black I've mixed in with it just um, to vary the colors so it's not just all one flat white and I'll build this up over a few layers so I'll just take that around both zebras the mum and the foal and now I mix a bit more gray up and I pop that into the darker areas then I'll build that up over a few layers like into it because they end up being black but they're, they're not just a solid black colour. So there's greys, there's browns, there's a few different colours throughout their black. So I'm just starting it off with a grey and I'll just take that all around where the black bits are. And just fill that all in with grey. And I'm using my Atelier acrylic paints. Um, they're a lovely acrylic paint. And I'm just using some cheap $2 shop uh, watercolour brushes so or acrylic brushes. So now I'm just taking the white around the foal. So, yeah, these brushes, they were very cheap. They were like $5 for a pack of six. But um, they're really fine for acrylic. They work really well. So now I take stripes down the back of this little zebra baby and now I run in with a pure black into the adult zebra and I take that around all the darkest areas I'm still leaving I'm not completely doing the stripes I'm leaving a bit of variation in the colors along the stripes like at the tops of the stripes I'm leaving it lighter because there'd be a bit of sun on there and a bit of sun bleach on their coats Just fill in the details on the tail, put a bit more dark around the muzzle and it dries a little bit lighter so I'll go over it a couple of times. And I'm actually, the, today's this picture I'm doing on um, my Anagoni watercolour paper. It's a tinted watercolour paper so but it's a quite a sturdy, sturdy paper so I thought it would handle acrylic well. So now I'm going in with some neat white, just straight white, and doing highlighted areas. And I've mixed up a little bit more grey just for the shadow areas on the back legs and underneath the zebra. Just tidy up a couple of spots where I'd got a few smudgies. some darker bits on the foal being sure to keep it just variant so it's not all just one flat color so then I mixed up a green for the ground I just used the green in my palette I'm not sure of the name of it and I managed to get my hand in it so I get a little smudge on the top of my picture so I just mop that out with a damp a damp cloth and that will dry and be almost not noticeable there'll be a couple little spots but it doesn't really matter so I just touch up the rest of the zebra with some white acrylic I'm just going with my pos Posca pen just to finish off a couple of lines. And we're just about done. 
So I hope you enjoyed this. It was something different doing an acrylic painting for you guys. So yeah, it was awesome fun. Um, I shall, shall see you guys for the next video. Uh, love it if you click like and subscribe. Have an awesome day and I'll see you for my next video. Okie dokie guys. Bye.